Hey brothers and sisters, today I just really, I just thought I'd share something I was reading in the scriptures today. It has come from the Old Testament, I was re I'm reading through Chronicles, it comes from 1 Chronicles chapter 14, verses um, 8 through 17. This is taught in the section of David, um, and David here is is defeating Philistines but I was just you know I was think I prayed to God I said let me find wisdom in the scriptures Lord and I, I was looking for Christ and I couldn't find him so I was just dwelling on it. I was thinking what is it where can I find Christ or what can what spiritual thing can I find in this text and that but then God in his providence, found something for me. Um, I'll read the text, and then I will explain what God has revealed to me. When the, Philist when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed over all Israel, anointed king over all Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. But David heard of it and went out against them. Now the Philistines had come and made a raid in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of God, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you give them into my hands? And the Lord said to him, Go up, and I will give them into your hand. And he went up to baal Perazim, and David struck them there. And David said, God has broken through my, en my enemies by my hand, like, bursting, like a bursting flood. Therefore the name of that place is called Baal Perazim, and they left their gods there. And David command, and David command, and they were burned. And David gave a command, and they were burned. That's talking about the idols. And the Philistines yet again made a raid in the valley. And when all, when David inquired of God, again inquired of God, God said to him, "You shall not go up after them." Go around and come against them, uh, the op them opposite of the bal balsam trees. And when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, then go out to battle. For God has gone out before you to strike the army of the Philistines. And David did as God commanded, and they struck, they struck down the Philistine army from Gibeon to Gezer. And the fame of David went out into all lands, and for the Lord and the the Lord brought the fear of him upon all nations. And so, when we're looking for spiritual laws, we obviously should pray, but obviously I'm not going to go out and conquer an, a, na a people group that doesn't even exist anymore. But today, I'm going to be talking about how this applies to spiritual war against sin. In John, in Mark one and Matthew four, it says the Spirit led Jesus into the the Spirit, Holy Spirit, led Jesus in, into the wilderness to be tested. And so, um, there are times when God will will give us up to Satan for a time to be tested. And Satan will tempt us to sin. Um, and then, so uh. I was thinking before before we go into a thing to be temp tempted to prove, I would say concerning the spirits that are the spirit of Antichrist that is upholding the place of temptation, I would say I would pray and say, "Will you should I go up after them, and should I will you deliver them into my hand?" And then sometimes he'll say, "Yes, I have given them into your hand." But then sometimes he says, no, go around and take refuge in the balsam trees, which can probably represent prayer or fasting or reading the Bible or faith in God's promises. And then go, because you might be weak yet. Or they might be, or you might not be ready. So that's just what I got out of that. I hope it blesses you and makes you think. But remember, all, God, all glory be to God, for He is the one who works in us, not ourselves. So I hope this video blesses you guys. In Jesus' name, amen.